A huge budget shortfall could derail weekend rail runner services. But don't hit the brakes just yet. The board that oversees the popular commuter train was given strict orders today to find the money somewhere. But where? Crystal Gutierrez is live at the downtown Albuquerque depot. Crystal? And, Dick, that's the question board members are asking tonight. They say they see no other solution right now. And along with the struggling economy, they also blame overconfident budget projections by the state. Welcome aboard the New Mexico Railroad Express. Riders we spoke with were just as shocked as state transportation commissioners to date when they heard the weekend services might be X'd out of the schedule. In fact, I think it probably sustained Santa Fe this last year when all of the people were going to Santa Fe from Albuquerque. Now, in 2008, voters in the four counties served by the train approved gross receipts taxes to help pay for rail runner operations. The state's transportation commission said the taxes would be enough to sustain service. Now, six months after the taxes took effect, the overconfident projections could be coming back to bite them. The Rio Metro board that oversees Railrunner services is projecting a $1 million budget shortfall. Last night, it decided weekends would have to go. Today, the board broke the news to the State Transportation Commission. If we don't act quickly, then our deficit grows, and then we might be faced with even more cuts. Unhappy commissioners told board members to come up with another solution, concerned that cutting the services would take a toll on Santa Fe's and Albuquerque's economy. On weekends, I go up to uh, Santa Fe, and when I stay in Santa Fe, then I come back down. On the weekend, it's probably going to be anywhere from 100 to as much as $300. Now, board chairman Benton says the only other solution would be the state coughing up money at a time when it can't even balance balance out its own budget. We're not necessarily holding out particular hope for that because, uh, uh, and for that reason, we're having to take this drastic action. And Benton says the original budget projections did not include weekend services. That's why he believes there is now a shortfall. However, he says the board is waiting for February 1st to make a final decision. If they don't come up with funding by then, weekend services will end February 15th. Back to you. All right, Crystal. In a way, they don't have any choice because under the law, the Rio Metro board must maintain a balanced budget.